Josh Pernod, he said that was the most nervous he's ever been before a race. How impressed are you with his swim and what did you see from his swim? If he was that nervous, he handled it like a pro. I mean, he set that race up for himself to be successful. Uh, did not panic with where he was in the race at any point in time. And at the 125, just moved into the 150 wall and got home. I mean, it was, I mean, it was, it was as close to perfection as possible. You, you know, I mean, perfection would have been, you know, a new world record, but that is as close to perfection in terms of race plan and execution. And I think it speaks a lot to his, how he handles himself, not only here, but just how he's handled himself over the last 18 months. It's been awesome. Uh, another final tonight, the 100 uh, free. Ton of golden bears in it, uh, and a couple moving on. Couple, what did you yeah. see from uh, Nathan and Anthony? Yeah, Nathan's race. Um, I was talking about this earlier. Was just a little weird. Uh, he did some very uncharacteristic things in there, and that's pretty good to do some uncharacteristic things and still win and still be 47-7. So um, I, I think that was just a, a very good race. You, you cannot understate the amount of pressure, regardless of where you have been, what you have done, what you have accomplished, just you know, standing behind those blocks and knowing that a lot is on the line in that particular race. Uh, and, and he executed it beautifully. Uh, Anthony does what Anthony does. And uh, you know he's probably one of the only swimmers in the history of our sport that can do it at 19 years of age and can do it well into his 30s. Uh, uh, so it's just, uh, that, that was really impressive to see. And, and it's just heartbreak for Will Copeland to finish seventh in that race. I mean. Will is, uh, you know, Will was a senior my first year at Cal, and so he always has a little special spot in my heart because of what he, what he did to help me as a coach in my first year, as as him being a senior, and I, I mean that, that that was tough. Now, the thing for all three of those guys is they is they switch the gears and, and get ready for the 50. And, and I said this last night, but you know Nathan has has done a great job in in, in his lead up here. And, and David Marsh at Swimat Carolina did a great job with Anthony Irvin in getting them here. And, and Will did a great job of working, uh, working with his club team out in Australia and those guys getting them here. So um, it, it's just cool to, cool to see that. And it's cool to see you know, those three guys just sitting back you know, in the war, you know, in, in back of the warm down pool together. It, you know, it's like it's, once you're a cow bear, you're always a cow bear. And those guys are, are just spending time together. It's really cool to see. The semifinal in the 200 back turned into a gold cap on gold cap uh, race at the end there. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, Murph and Pebbly. Yeah, that, those, those are two both solid swims. Uh, again, they're just trying to work through their race plan and race process, move through the stages, going from the prelims to semis, semis to finals. And, uh, and I think they did a nice job. And, and so, you, you know, they, they, they did their deal. They, they uh, warmed down, they got out of here and, and resting up and getting ready for tomorrow night. And finally, Andrew Seliskar makes the uh, final in the yeah. 200 IM uh, by a thread, but he made it. Yeah, he's in there, you, you know, and, and the young man's learning a lot as he's going through this. The more time he gets to race and race in those situations, the better it's going to be for him. As, as I said, this is a very pressure-packed thing, no matter how many times you've done it. And now Andrew's here doing it with expectations, which is a whole nother, you know, kind of wave of emotions to handle and work through. Um, and, and he did a great job. I thought more impressive with Andrew is he did a great job of coming out of that 200 fly from last night, coming in this morning in the 200 IM and racing it. And that was awesome to see how he responded to that tremendous growth and maturity, uh, you know, kind of coming forth from him and, and how he handled disappointment last night and then transferred that into success and moving through the prelims and the semifinals this evening.